Welcome back to Wickerson Studios. My name is Michael Wickerson and I am going to continue with uh, producing a short video for all three of these tiers on my Patreon. They're all public at this current time on YouTube and they're just introductory videos to get you going with learning Rhino with Grasshopper, uh, learning Grasshopper with Grasshopper plugins, and now I want to spend a little time on the more advanced, uh, even though I think it's pretty basic, uh, learning Python basics with Grasshopper Hops component and possibly using the GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code. So what I put together was a link to what you need to do on my Patreon. It's pretty simple and we'll just walk through it this morning and see how far we go with writing our first script. Uh, once this is up and running, um, the whole world's open to you as to what Python can do with all of its modules and libraries and it's pretty amazing. The trick is uh, to try and navigate it into uh, being relevant or useful in the Grasshopper Canvas and in turn uh, then applying it to your Rhino environment. So learning Python with Grasshopper Hops component and the GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code. Definitely you're going to need to download and install as dependencies and set up Anaconda. So Anaconda is something you can download and you can see it's here and that's what you're going to want to uh, do. Uh, you can make your own environments up here and get into details and things like that but currently I think it's enough just to have Anaconda up and running. Uh, Visual Studio Code you're going to want to go in and generate uh, getting that up and running and actually have opened uh, one of the dependencies farther along already and have a terminal window open and I have my extensions that I'm using and if you're familiar with Visual Studio Code then you shouldn't have trouble following along with this tutorial but I'll try and make it for basic. Um, the next thing is to possibly, it's optional, get GitHub uh, up and running for you. And if you're not a faculty or student, uh, it does cost $10 a month, but it does make uh, progress uh, just at light speed compared to sitting and trying to uh, script and find all the details of what you need to do. You will also have to bring into Hops. Um, you'll have to go into Rhino. You will go to Package Manager, uh, Package Manager, and you should be able to find within there hops and I think it's in there uh, there it is and you'll want to install hops and that's a nice thing to do I've already have mine installed so I'm just gonna cancel it and then uh, I do recommend getting C well you have to get CPython 3.10 uh, or higher which means just installing Python from Python's uh, apps I'm not going to show the details of that but you'll want to make sure you can install everything you need and start transitioning over to using your command prompt and pip installing or con to install everything over you want. Um, the next step is possibly using CMake 3.22 or higher. That's recommended. I've used it and I seem to not running into any problems with this. And I'm recommending downloading Flask, which will show how to do that. Um, you have to download it to your uh, computer, but then you have to also get it up and running in one of the environments, let's say uh, Anaconda's uh, command prompt, which we're going to do. The next thing to do is go to McNeil's uh, repository, compute.rhino3d, and you want to download this entire repo uh, and know where it is on your computer and where that directory is. You'll be using that soon enough. And then let's do step two, get things up and running. Open Anaconda launch PowerShell prompt and then you have to type in this keyword so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go in I'm gonna launch a prompt I actually already have it launched but you see it's launching here the only thing you'll have to install is pip install ghops server and then you also want to bring in Flask at the same time. You'll see what libraries are brought in right here. You've just brought in the Rhino 3DM library, which means you could start working in Python through these wrappers that you'll use for hops components. But think about it. You don't have to bring in strings, points, uh, sorry, strings, booleans, uh, floats, and uh, integers. You can actually start bringing in Rhino geometries and outputting more complex or uh, depending on if you're taking it apart or putting it together, more complex or simple geometry. So that's pretty exciting to do. Uh, the next step is to jump in here and open Visual Studio Code and you'll want to go to the folder, go to File, Open Folder, find out where you put that downloaded repository and uh, one moment I'll take a break for 